Hello. <laughs> so we are designing and crafting living experience around the IoT and smart home space. We design and produce um, IoT Smart Home Hub. It's UX hardware, software, basically everything by our team in Kyoto. We are especially interested in how we can make people's life calm in this digital and connected era. Today, we will host this talk session on a theme of tatazumai of technology, um, uh, to seek a way of technology being in harmony with human and nature for our well being. So, we Japanese have a great word tatazumai to express a certain kind of atmosphere, appearance, and presenting things around us. And today, we uh, deeply dive into uh, more. So we have invited our guest, Hiro Tata Tako, the head of Sony Design in Europe. Um, uh, so Mr. Hiro led the Milan Design Week exhibition in 2018 in a theme hidden sense, and then it brought a huge uh, sensation to the creative scene at the time. So we would like to explore how he sees everyday life and also technology and how he tries to design the life of us. Uh, so please uh, uh, welcome Hiro. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm the creative director and the head of the Design Center Europe, uh, Sony Design Center Europe. Uh, I'm heading up the two studios. One is the uh, UK, the other one is uh, the Sweden, Lund. Okay, this is my face. Uh, don't worry, uh, I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, let me uh, start to share about the Sony first. As always, uh, Sony was founded in 1946. Maybe some of you may know. In the picture, uh, there are our two founders, Masaru Ibuka and uh, Kyo Morita. Uh, we have brought the world many innovative products uh, under the Sony founding spirits of the do what have never been done before. This innovation was made possible by the synergy between the technology and design. The following products are the example of this. Maybe some of you uh, may recognize it, they including the Profile Pro, uh, the PlayStations, and then the Walkmans, and then and then now uh, the our the recently the field of the design has been expanding to beyond just product to keep up with our growing business portfolio. The some examples are in field such as the medical or financial or education or even the entertainment. We work on the design and the creation of the, the emotional value in you know, these uh, business, the fields. The, especially the new territory like this slide, there are a lot of more of the new product project uh, we are also working on in relate to the AI, robotics, uh, blockchain, and the one of the, our most strong business territory, which is the uh, image sensing technology. And then recently, there are a lot of uh, challenges and the changes uh, we have to realize that the technology must use must be used as a the method uh, to solve the, the coming issues like a COVID or safety or sustainability and the remote life like we do now. Uh, in order to make our life the safe and the fun, uh, based on those backgrounds, uh, Sony is now focusing on the three three uh, let's so-called 3R technology, which refers to the reality and the real-time and the remote. We believe we can create the new value and the solution by realizing the 3R technology for those issues and the problems. So then hidden senses, uh, that's the three today's topics for me, uh, which is also the one of the, the Creative Center's, Sony Creative Center's design R&D project I was working on almost for the five years. So I believe the home, uh, maybe home is one of the topics today relating that maybe tatazumai, uh, the, the more you some pointed out. I believe home is still the place where we, you and the, your family can feel totally relaxed. Now home is the, like the way you can enjoy the entertainment or even walk or eat a play. But at the same time, home is essentially the place where the calm and the ordinary life goes on. I think we can find something in between there like somehow. So then we started the Hidden Senses project in the, actually 2014. 
the project is about the exploring new way of interaction in your daily household. All the information you need blend into your daily behavior and family object. Minimal visual graphic interface helps to, to make ordinary life more calm and comfortable. Okay, so I can, I can show you the, some example uh, we uh, experimented, experimented. So this is uh, the one, uh, the experimentation we did actually at uh, 2014. So aiming to the blend physical and the digital object seamlessly, taking advantage of light and the shadow. So you can see the, the video. Uh, the one of the post-it you can see is actually uh, the physical post-it with uh, the, the magic, the hand lighting, uh, the text on it. So then the coming after the two digital objects is coming, then looks confusing, which is real, which is uh, the digital. And then by combining physical and digital, even you can create the changing the information. Oh, maybe I need to. So if you can change and then make the, the virtual of even physical deposit, you can move. Then even you can touch the, the digital deposit. So that's a one uh, the experimentation we did. And then now is actually the movement is getting getting better. It looks like an actual paper flutter. So we found the paper is a kind of the best icon to tell the information and it's enabling us to control the shadow and shadow quite easily because of the thinness of the material. But actually the, the other paper is not moving. That's an example we did. And then next one, the, we, the, the another experimentation we did, uh, we thought it would be even more easier if any object, uh, physical objects around you can use can be used as uh, the controller for the daily function. For example, like uh, changing the volume of the radio or some, something like uh, turning the, just by turning the base. Can you hear the sound? Actually, sound is actually changing. So any kind of object around you could be the controller for the, your, the daily the function. For example, like a changing the lighting or changing the, the sound. So we learned a lot the, the, from the, the unique the experimentation. Then it's actually about the process of the analyzing the, our senses or our perception and then deprogramming and then assigning to the behavior and the familiar object and the space. And it's about the designing use cases scenarios that can fit into the, our daily life. By this, uh, there will be no more boundaries between the digital and the physical, the software and the hardware, objects and the space. You know, this is a kind of the project that uh, kind of bridging those uh, to different territories. And then uh, we did the, the Sony Design Exhibition in 2019 uh, in the Milano after four years of the internal studies. And then we did the kind of the same, a bit smaller exhibition in the Ginza, Tokyo as well. Then I wanna share the video the sum of the, the prototype we did. This is jug without the water inside, but you can feel the sound and tactility. This is a decorating the plate by projection, but uh, by sensor it can be moved. And then this is the paper I showed. This is the material shelf. If you can change to make it, for example, a TV or and then these uh, picture frames can be moved if you get closer, if you can change the time. This lamp uh, gives you the, the dedicated light for you. And then this uh, tells you the weather forecast. 
And then this is just a simple gesture to turn on the switch, or uh, change the visual or lighting. Even you can change the size of the display by rotating rotating the simple cube. Even you can create the ambient lights. So these are just the examples uh, of the prototypes we showcased in Ginza and Milano. So uh, I think it was, this was a really good opportunity for us uh, to see uh, how people react uh, when only focused, limited, the pure information you need uh, is presented in front of you without knowing the, any technology behind. Then I believe that uh, everyone enjoyed the experience with the smile and the fun and the happiness and of course comfort. After Milan, uh, we got uh, uh, lots of the collaboration offer the, from the, the different the industries. And this is a one of the kind of collaboration with the hotel at the Tokyo. Uh, it's a kind of reception area. We installed the hidden senses uh, kind of information board. It looks like a group of uh, the picture frames, but it gives you the daily information by rotating the simple cube to the evening mode or morning mode or night mode, and then giving you the menu or floor plan or even changing time or the outside weather. So it's created by just one uh, the ultra short project uh, uh, putting on a scene. So this is just an example for installing the hidden senses in the daily life. Okay. Okay. So then the other the other example. Uh, it's uh, something we are now working on uh, for uh, kind of plot type, the R&D project in uh, Lund, Sweden, which is called the Interactive Content Solution for the B2B territory, particularly. So it's uh, utilizing the 360 projection system with the sensors around, around you, and then uh, to give you the real size, the virtual apartment tour based on the was three out uh, the technology direction. So I can show you the video again. So it feels like uh, you are uh, in uh, the, the actual space uh, on the apartment. It's actually a new apartment. It's created by Fushiji, but you can feel the real size, the object and the space and the distance and then the colors and the lightness, if you can change the direction of the lighting or even sunlight comes from the left to the right, and then even you can open the drawers. And then, so it's kind of uh, without, it's kind of the VR experience without the VR go. go, go. So we, we try to somehow uh, taking out the boundary in between the physical and the digital and then the other uh, and the digital and the space and the object. So that's, uh, uh, that's something now we are uh, uh, working on. It's part of the still uh, the the journey of the, the hidden senses. So that's all uh, from my side today. Uh, I hope it takes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. Now, um, goes to Mui Labo. So, Kazu, uh, can you introduce yourself and uh, present what you do? Okay, uh, my name is Kazuoki, uh, coming from Murab in Kyoto. May I uh, share my screen, you know, with my introduction as well? <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me this op great opportunity to, you know, uh, present the Mui Lab. So Mui is our, like, a power word, you know, which from actually Taoism back in uh, all century of Chinese philosophy. Can, can you see my screen? Is it? So Mui means, you know, several uh, sentences, you know, it's directly translation in like doing nothing. 
or like a more, you know, <clears throat> imagination, you know, it's, it says natural state of mind. But I think uh, it includes uh, today's theme of Tatazumai. So I'd like to uh, show our products. So here's a team, uh, myself and the Nobu Hirote, who is our co-founder co and creative director uh, from Kyoto. So we are based in Kyoto and uh, last night we had a like, great session of House of Beautiful Business in Kyoto Chamber. So we are basically uh, out of you know, street of Kyoto. The me mean, uh, meaning of street has uh, like a you know, meaning of like uh, industry. So our street is called Ebisugawa basically you know, means furniture. So we are basically making like an internet device, but it includes the three story of furniture. So in Kyoto, uh, we appreciate the cherry blossom every year in most likely mid April. And we see the, you know, blossom, you know, as a perfection of or beauty of uh, flora. But uh, we also, you know, appreciate the flow of petal in the water or in the wind. So that's our like a, uh, you know, the mindset. So Kyoto is also known as a, like a craftsman, you know, traditional craftsmen are still uh, living by doing, you know, the thousand years or several hundred years of craftsmanship. So they keep continuing their, their craft. And this is a shop uh, we our favorite craft shop in Kyoto, and we we are falling in love in this like window. This shows screen uh, is filtering the scenery of outside. Actually, this is a second floor, so outside scenery is not beautiful. But the, through this shows screen, it looks like you know very beautiful uh, area outside. So that's the magic of uh, this show screen. <clears throat> this is also another uh, craft example. This is called Kintsugi. It's uh, like a repaired pottery done by like a gold uh, rocker uh, for the, you know, uh, reassemble for the broken pottery. And uh, this is quite like a unique way of appreciation of beauty you know, in even uh, broken pottery. But uh, this is, uh, I made this you know, for several times and I always wanted to buy a new one. But uh, why don't we think about like a repairing by gold worker or other way to uh, you know, appreciate the product. This is uh, like my you know, big question as always for the technology, you know, especially device. And the technology device uh, is very, com very useful and I always use iPhone, but uh, sometimes we, we are obsessed by technology because it's very, uh, convenient and uh, it, it, it's an ex extension of our brain. And we also have you know, en enthusiasm for the hype cycle, but uh, is this uh, something, you know, uh, telling our telling story of our future or just telling a story about just technology? That's my big question too. And we got the 8K TV with uh, 80 inch or 100 inches. But do we need to have this in our like a home or wherever? So with HypeCycle, we see the Moore's Row. It, it says always uh, beyond previous uh, functionality, but uh, how it goes through to our lifestyle is my question. Our like lifestyle is 
like dominated by 8K TV or our attention should be obsessed by like iPhone? I, I don't think so. So we see uh, our story in our home, like a lifestyle. And actually we make this wooden interface uh, <coughs> back of this uh, lady. Actually, it, this is Akko, this uh, today's facilitator. So this is our product. This is a plank, plank of wood, and we use a natural material, but it, it functions as a, like a user interface for their home control or messaging uh, connecting the family. So this is a smart home device, but it is plank, plank of wood. So how it works? So this is one of our like a unique functionality of timer. So we have many timers, kitchen timers or iPhone timers, but uh, this timer is more like a different uh, feeling for the time. So we, we create the moment. So we say moment timer. <clears throat> so through interaction, interacting with uh, real material, we interacting with a computer or internet. So this is a uh, layering of MUI. So MUI is connected to cloud, but the, our like human interface is like real world material. So we say uh, human nature and machine interface. So through like a MUI filter, so we try to uh, engage like moments for the, especially like a calm moments of human. So we say inspire calm moments. So this is example, uh, this lady sees her, actually this, this was uh, last winter and this lady is see, looking at the outside, uh, feel that like a, something cold or something like a, you know, sn uh, snow is falling. And the information device just stays, not distract uh, for her attention. So that's our approach. And also we appreciate the harmony of uh, lifestyle or harmony of family uh, or harmony between human and the interior or human and uh, family and the technology. <clears throat> also from application standpoint, we uh, embedded messaging function. And this, these two photos shows different way of messaging. So one is a machine notification based upon something input by human. And the other picture shows a flower base into the uh, tokonoma space, uh, which is uh, utilized in old Japanese houses. So there's, uh, a lot more information for flower base, we think. That includes something imagination by us. So how might we uh, embed this like a flower base messaging function to our like a devices or technology? So that, that's our MUI's approach. So this is another like a prototype so <clears throat> you can leave your handwriting, handwritten message for the uh, re recipient who is uh, actually outside of the house or who is uh, coming back late night. So the lady uh, put their three dreams. And uh, in other timeline that her husband or her, I don't know, boyfriend get their like a message. Same like a like a timing or the, at the exact same timing for the handwritten uh, way by done by her. And this is another example done by us. Uh, this is like a height marking in wood. 
So this is a like, traditional, like a Japanese, I don't know, kids appreciation, like something experience to marking the child height into like a, the pillar in the home. Actually, Japanese house is made by most likely wood. So we have our like a, a wood pillar around the you know, houses. So we actually digitalize this uh, for appreciate these moments like this. So we are creating the technology, but uh, we also appreciate the you know, natural like a lifestyle or natural state of mind done by family or the extension of our daily life to embed into the digital. So this is just a living message for the pillar. But uh, like uh, to put, you know, the memo for the refrigerator or on the desk like that, you can utilize digital pen to the pillar to this is height marking. And uh, that this box shows that like height of like a kids and they're archiving that memory into the box. So without screen or without like a hype cycle based technology. So we embed the like a memory for the, you know, some moments for the very personalized uh, message into some house or for some family. So that's, that is, you know, for somebody it's not, that doesn't mean anything, but for the family, uh, one who is want, who wanted to put their memory into the height. That may be, you know, something uh, we need to, like a digital company needs to appreciate for that moment. And this is actually the family of our creative director, Hirobe. And even Tatazumai includes like a, this, like a family, I don't know, picture. So which telling us like a flower base, you know, which I showed pre pre in previous slide. So hidden, something hidden message, I don't know, like a happiness or that, you know, maybe further, like Hirobe says something interesting, they're laughing. I don't know, it, it just for like a photo shooting, I'm not sure. But there, those hidden like senses from the tatazumai is our like a goal to describe or goal to utilize in like a digital lifestyle. And uh, our like vision for the future is like this house. This this house is very famous house done by Aruba Aruto in Helsinki, and his uh, his house. And it built in 1930s or 1990, uh, 1929. And it, this like a perfection of Tatazumai uh, inspires us how technology sh should be into this like a uh, life. Is, is that requires like 8K TV for 100 inches or this like a room appreciate uh, obsession of like iPhone technology? I'm not sure, but how might we think about technology from the, like a, something affordance for like this couch or something affordance for the piano? So piano affords like a jazz or I don't know, classic or a child song. How might we think about technology like that? So that's our uh, approach for Tatazumai. And this is some example by, done by our like a device. So which shows a, actually Japanese poem and uh, it's hard to explain or hard to translate poem uh, in other language, but the Mui even affords like a poem to show or to tell like a poet's in a split to uh, the recipient based upon digital technology. 
So it's not just for their smart home device or just not for the signage. It includes like a context of art as well. So this is uh, now we are exhibiting in Nara Prefecture uh, to participate at event. So it's uh, like half outside, but you know, Mui affords poem to uh, appreciate visitor to see this art. So in conclusion, so like a poem to translation of poem, it's hard to uh, explain or hard to uh, how to say like a direct meaning, but there are some uh, statement uh, from uh, like a craftsman, uh, like a statement is something example for think about tatazumai. So it includes like by taking a step back from looking at the thing, we are better able to feel the presence uh, residing in it or perception of unseen, like a uh, hero's uh, presentation, or like a not perfect, but beautiful, like uh, my slides uh, to describe the uh, cherry blossom or kintsugi rocker. So that's all. Thank you so much. <laughs>